one of my 2020 resolutions. Quit eating those. Everybody's having a good new year. It is New Year's Day. Last night I went to my cousin Wayne's house and hung out, and uh, he had some people over. Not not many people. I think there's like seven of us total, and we just hung out and ate and visited and had a nice relaxing time. That's what us old people like to do. We like to keep it low key. Don't want it too exciting. But we had a good time, and uh, yeah, it's funny. Speaking of that, how as you get older and uh, at least for some people, not everybody, but I think a lot of people as they get older, you know, it's staying up to 12, obviously it's not a big deal. I know a lot of people that were in bed well before midnight, and I was up at midnight, not necessarily because it was New Year's, just because I tend to be a little bit of a night owl, but uh, yeah, you know, as you get older, you don't stay up and, and go out and do things as much. Some people do. Some people, you know, enjoy the, the social interaction, and that's fine. Everybody's different. Um, I'm not quite the socialite. I don't mind going to a, uh, small, you know, get togethers with, with a few people like I did last night, but I'm just not drawn to big crowds and big events. Uh, you know, sometimes I am when if there's something cool going on. night was fun but I hope everybody's having a, a good new year or by the time you watch this you've had a good new year and 2020 is off to a good start I'm on Flint Creek near Hartsville Alabama I was going upstream and I've only been upstream a time or two paddling from from the boat launch and uh, and normally it's pretty flat. There's very little current because most of this water level or pretty much all of this water level is controlled by TVA, by Wheeler Lake and Wheeler Dam. So with the water levels up already and they're calling for about four or more inches of rain over the next two days starting uh, either tonight or tomorrow. So TVA is drawing the water down to get ready for this additional water that we're about to have. We're already the ground saturated and all creeks and rivers are again above normal already so with all that going on TVA is drawing the water down it's creating a fair amount of current uh, that you can see from kind of looking to the side of the boat and also some of the limbs and things that I'm passing in the water and right now uh, I'm just floating with the current um, I'll paddle occasionally to kind of keep it pointed in the right direction but this is uh, this is all current right here probably going uh, two to three miles an hour so I'll paddle back to the boat ramp and there's a little creek that or part of the, the smaller creek that comes in called Flint Creek West or maybe it's West Flint Creek I'm not sure but it's a little feeder into this creek and um, and I want to go back and it comes out directly across from the boat launch 
one cool thing about Flint Creek when the water's up like this is uh, it kind of floods the several wooded areas and there's a lot of areas that kind of stay a little wet anyway so there's not a lot of trees in there but then when the water level comes up you can get in there real easy with your kayak and and uh, sometimes it actually does flood some wooded areas and so you can get in and kind of paddle among trees and stuff and I just think that's the coolest thing it's uh you know just something I don't get to do a whole lot around here we don't really have a lot of areas where you're paddling uh, in and among the trees and uh, I just think that's cool so uh, there might be a few few more We're, I've been in one spot like that already there might be a few more here on uh, Flint Creek West that we can check out like that Been a little more current than what I had <clears throat> wanted, I guess, but it's still been a great trip, great float. Found some still waters to just paddle around, relax. Great way to start the new year. You know, speaking of new year, you know, it's a time where a lot of people are looking back on their 2019 and for some it's been a good year for some it might have been the best year they've ever had there's others who maybe just survived 2019 much like I've barely survived that limb attack anyway yeah I've seen some posts where people you know aren't necessarily looking back on 2019 with fond memories and and uh, to those people I hope 2020 is a a great one you know and it's and yeah, I mentioned this a little bit in one of my last videos I think it was the Christmas day I was talking about just things and I you know and I mentioned in that video that I'm doing a want to do a, a year in review uh, primarily of just my trips you know the different places I've been and and uh, talk about those and and a little bit about the experience of just being on YouTube as I'm kind of wrapping up my first year. But I mentioned that, um, you know, and I've seen, and I'm sure you've all seen this, I've seen this post on social media and we've all seen the warnings, don't compare your behind the scenes with other people's highlight reels. And uh, and there's really a lot of, a lot of truth to that. And that's a, a, a great thing to remember because what happens on social media and and even like YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, um, yeah, people like to share their their highlights and their journeys and the good things that happen in the special moments, and and that's great, you know. Share it with your friends and family and let them enjoy it, and rejoice with you, and things you're proud of and accomplishments, and you know that's what I do. I don't film my everyday life. I don't film the you know all the ups and downs. I just I film these paddle trips you know and I, I want to share the, the beauty of nature and and the peacefulness and the serenity and all these great things and, and that's train horn scenery wildlife being out on the water and, and uh, yeah so you know that's I'm not trying to paint a picture of something that I'm not I'm my life's not all great and just a bowl of cherries and and nobody's is and uh, but you know some people have better lives than others or easier lives some people you know have some tough times are going through and everybody has some stuff but you know there was one comment I had on one of my pictures that somebody had posted I think on Instagram that said man I want your job and uh, you know and I kind of laughed it off and you know and I know they didn't really mean anything by it they were just saying they enjoyed the pictures and and all the you know my adventures that I share but you know but I don't want people to think that you know that's I'm something that I'm not um, you know I'm human like everybody else and there's ups and downs and there's happy 
and there's happy moments and sad moments and and uh so yeah i don't you know do social media to try to present myself as something i'm not i do it just to share you know what i think is worth sharing <laughs> and uh i mean that is you know these these trips and the, the and nature and wildlife and you know not everybody's into that that's fine you know but for those that are here's a you know a few more video clips or pictures you can look at and enjoy and as the old expression goes i put my pants on one leg at a time like everybody else and and uh, this past year it's this definitely had its ups and downs and there's been some tough times and there's been some good times and, and uh, that's this life and i fully expect 2020 to be the same way it could be worse could be better I don't know, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a journey, and, um, you know, I'll just have to keep plugging along, and, and uh, I hope that everybody does the same, and, uh, you know, for me, these trips help me get through the year, they help me get through, this is a time when I can come out, especially when I'm by myself, like today, and just relax, and think, and, and, uh, and maybe I don't want to think, maybe I just want to relax and veg out and I can do that. And uh, and so, yeah, everybody needs some some downtime and some a way to relax, a way to un, unwind, decompress, whatever you want to call it. Uh, everybody needs something like that. And I hope that uh, you know, everybody can find that. Certainly getting out in nature is a great way to do that because you get out away from the hustle and bustle and, and may not always get away from the train horns or traffic noise but hopefully you can get far enough away from those things but just getting away from you know tvs and radios and yeah you know we all will probably always have our uh, phones with us you know but you know you take it where you're fine that's it's a good thing to have hopefully you know you get in a bind you have a way to call somebody if you have a signal but but don't you know stay on it you know take it with you to take some pictures and whatever but yeah, just get out and get away from things. Nature's a good way to do that. But again, that's not for everybody. For other people, unwinding may be watching a movie, playing a video game, um, playing, you know, tennis or basketball or golf or or whatever, or, um, you know, scrapbooking or crocheting. I just, whatever it is, you know, um, just if you have something like that, that's great. And if you don't, maybe try to find something that, give you a good a good release a good outlet and if you do it you don't have to share it you know this is uh, this is my fourth I've just finished my well in the third third year third summer to have a kayak and um, the first two years I didn't share any pictures I shared a few with my uh, friends and family I think on Facebook but for the first two years I just went out and did it and enjoyed it and uh, in this past year, my third summer, I thought, hey, I'll start an Instagram account to, to share some of these pictures so I don't just blow up all my friends and family. And so I did, and uh, and then I also decided, I thought, hey, why don't I, if I'm going on all these trips, why don't I get a camera and record them and see how that you know goes, kind of putting little videos together. And I've done that and enjoyed it, and that's, that's fun too, so. It's just good to have a have an outlet, and that's what this is for me. You know, I'm not trying to look like I'm something I'm not. I'm not a great adventurer or a great outdoorsman. I'm not the best kayaker. I'm just a guy that you know likes to paddle, likes to get out in nature um, on a boat, <laughs> on a kayak. Yeah. Well, I'm getting closer to the ramp. You can probably hear the road noise. I can see see the ramp from here hope everybody has a great uh, 2020 uh, for those that my subscribers that I picked up this year thank you I really appreciate that those that watch and like and comment um, I do appreciate that and always welcome any feedback or input you know, having YouTube and, and Instagram is actually uh, giving me the opportunity to, to meet several people and actually uh, paddle with them probably four or five times this year I've met people that I didn't know before this year we met on Instagram or, or uh, YouTube and got together and did some trips and it's it's been great it's, it's been a lot of fun hope to meet some more this year but uh, 
I just wanted to say thanks for uh, for joining along in my adventure in 2019 and hopefully if the good Lord's willing we'll have a few more in 2020. Hope to see y'all on the water.